Elective surgery is a term used for non-emergency surgery which is medically necessary but can be delayed for at least 24 hours. Valerie Richtman, the nursing manager at MediClinic Vinchuk, said that with the second wave of the coronavirus occurring simultaneously with the lifting of restrictions on elective surgery for patients waiting to be operated on, private hospitals are starting to feel the pressure as the demand on hospital beds is expected to increase. The pre-testing for the elective cases had been lifted. So in the past, all hospitals had to first test patients to d determine their COVID status. That impacted a lot on the, on the standard business of all hospitals because uh, it's additional costs for medical aid or for private patients. So some patients delayed their surgery. But now with, with the decision being made that it's uh, on a case-by-case case, uh, scenario that pre-testing will be done, uh, the, it's, the elective work is, is now sort of back in full sweep. So there's quite a challenge that the, the second wave is simultaneously with when the elective work is running also at its peak. So there is a challenge on beds or demand on our beds. COVID-19 has exposed vulnerabilities in the healthcare system and many hospitals were unprepared to deal with the growing backlog of elective surgical cases. Today on One spoke to Bernadette Chipanga, the nursing service manager at the Roman Catholic Private Hospital, and to Hanali Buerta, the general manager at Lady Pohamba Private Hospital, to find out how their facilities are prepared to deal with addressing the second wave of the pandemic and the bed capacity for non-emergency surgical patients. We do have challenges, especially now that we, the first wave, we closed the elective cases and it was like we were, even when the staff was really now not well prepared, all of us were not well prepared, but at least we could, we could handle but this time, we are having now elective cases in the hospital. Doctors are operating. Other patients who are ill also want our input. And now COVID hit us again from the other side. The bed capacity is even of the COVID that we allocated the first time. This time is lower. And it makes everything difficult for us. But we, we are trying to manage where we can. I think the key challenges is at the moment um, with the second wave that you have a risk of who's entering the building or coming for elective surgery because we're still doing elective surgery on the one side and then we have to manage and and treat the, the COVID-19 positive patients as well. So yes, if I have to mention one except uh, one uh, challenge is is to get the mid, the, the, the mid line between the two. The health ministry recently announced a concern with a high number of healthcare workers testing positive for COVID-19. Esme Burtis, the chairperson of the Namibian Association of Private Hospitals, said that although the first wave has prepared staff much better to deal with the second wave, the public should continue adhering to the COVID-19 regulations by avoiding large gatherings, social distancing, wearing of masks and frequent hand washing.